Bath of the Heartland uh, here in Omaha in our Facebook page. We're discussing products here. I have Mr. Gene Dieters. Um, Gene the Machine is a designer here that has probably sold more of these walk-in tubs than any other guy here. So I have him here to talk about some of the um, pros and cons of the walk-in tub. So Gene, why would I want a walk-in tub? A lot of reasons. Sometimes when you have a situation where you need it for medical reasons, you know, doctor says you need to stimulate your, your blood flow a little better. Mm -hmm. Doctor may say that he wants you to sit in there so it helps you warm up more efficiently. Um, th those are the primary reasons. And sometimes it's just a person wants one. Um, truthfully, I have a customer that actually bought one. He made me want one. <laughs> okay, he's a little bit older than I am. Not much, but he's a little bit older than I am. And he puts it in the bathroom. He had a huge bathroom. He had a TV above the uh, doorway. Yeah. So what happened was he goes, I sit here and watch the Husker game. Oh my. And what made me really <laughs> want it was, because he had to set ledge stuff, because I put my drinks back here. And he goes, and did you know, and this is what really made me want it. He goes, did you know popcorn bowls float? And I'm like, oh, I want one. I gotta have one now. But that, that's what made me want one. But but seriously, when we first come into the home, we don't start off with why, I want to ask why you want one. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna ask you another question, which seems funny to a lot of people. Do you have another shower area? Do you have another bathing area? And the reason for have another shower area, do you have another bathing area? And the reason for that is we don't want to sell you a tub and have it installed and have you go, Gene, I just fell, I need to have a home health care worker. And what I want to point out to everybody is if you look at where Dana's feet are, there isn't much space. So if I was the home health care person helping Dana after an accident, there's no place for me to stand or help her in or out efficiently if that were to happen. Mm -hmm. And when we come into a home, we're trained to think not where you are now, what could happen in 10 years. And if you're already walking with a cane, because, and that's what the doctor wants to have that simulation, maybe this isn't the best solution. We got to find another solution for you. Give you a nice walk-in tub or walk-in shower, excuse me, with a low threshold with a nice bench seat, and we give you a lot of options that way. So I, when we go into these walk-in tub appointments, we're not actually looking to point you in that direction unless you or you're adamant that you want it, obviously we'll take care of you. But at the same time, we want to make sure it's the best solution for your home and your situation. Great. What are some of the benefits of the walk-in tub? So walk-in tub, like I said, is if you are a true bather and love your bathtub and don't want to give it up, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. The chair you're sitting on is about 17 and a half inches high from, from the base of the tub to the seat. So it's a comfortable sit-down type situation. Mm -hmm. A lot of my customers, when they're giving up their bathtub, they're having a hard time getting out of the bathtub. Yeah. I hear a lot of stories, and, and some of them, um, one thing I am is diabetic, so one thing I'm familiar with is neuropathy of the feet, for example. Mm -hmm. So some people, as they age with this condition, are unsure of their feet, and they're concerned about getting into the tub and not being able to get back out. Yeah. So. Heck, I have a hard time <laughs> getting out of the tub. <laughs> well, exactly, and there's some other benefits too. Like, for example, our bathtubs, we have the quick fill, obviously, for the tub. And we've also got a hand shower, so it's, it's got some multi-uses. For example, you can use it as you would right you know, use a walk-in shower. You have a seat right there, and you can do all your bathing, use a hand shower. We can also take the hand shower and put it up high. We can also take the hand shower and put it up high. So that way, if you are you know, not the only one using the bathroom, if somebody wants to come and use the bathroom, they can use it as a shower. We'll just put a shower curtain rod up here, and a shower curtain will be in here. It's not the best situation for a shower but if we're trying to make a multi-use area out of it and we can do that yeah All right. that's great and how many different choices of walk-in tubs does rebath offer a lot of the choices depend on the size and space we have to work with uh, the one you're sitting right now for example is a 51 by 29 inch shower which means it's 51 inches this way 29 inches wide and as we were talking about generally speaking when we do these tubs they try to make them the size of the normal tub now we talked about you said it felt narrower than your normal mm -hmm. tub and when we think about a bathtub, a traditional bathtub, it's not straight down. It's actually cupped a little bit. Yeah. So when we measure it across, it's about 18 inches. And generally speaking, most of the tubs we see, your 30 inch basic 30 by 60 tub, is about 17 or 18 inches on the bottom. So the idea is you can fit in there like you do your normal tub. Now some of them, because of size constraints, for example, we have a 51 by 26, which is about three inches narrower, is a little bit narrower. And the reason why we have to do that is a couple reasons getting it through the house. Okay. Nobody thinks about that because, for example, we have a, a seat just like you're sitting on, but instead of being 29 inches wide, it's actually 36 inches mm -hmm. wide. And this is one of the things that we have to think about is when we come into your house, we have to start back from the entry door 
all the way to your bathroom. How many doors do we have to modify to get that thing through here? If they're all 36, no big deal. It never works out that way. Yeah. It seems like there's one or two that we have to literally take the door frame off, cut into the wall, and then move it in that way. Okay. And these things happen, but like I said, the biggest deal is we'll make sure that we're getting the right tub for the space you have and for the right situation that you have. And once yeah. again, if it's a situation where we talk, it's like, it doesn't make sense, we're going to stop there and talk about something else for another solution. Yeah, I used to be 100 pounds heavier, and I know that if the tub was any smaller than this, I wouldn't have fit in it. <laughs> like I said, that's why we have the 36 inch, which is wider. And at that point, widening the doors and have us bringing it, it makes a lot of sense. I have had uh, two customers that actually have done the 36 inch. It's not very common. Um, and not necessarily because there are barriers, medications that cause these problems. And yeah. another thing, just getting around, the more space you have, it's a little bit easier to maneuver. Sure. And as far as the, the tubs, I know this one here has jets in it. Mm -hmm. Do they come without jets as well? well you, can get, you can get a soaker. Get, you can get a soaker. Um, okay. Believe it or not, we sell, we actually do have a lot of people choose those. And the nice thing about the soaker is it is less expensive. There's also less things to go wrong. Mm -hmm. um, so just, you know, the warranty side of this. The tub itself is warranted against leaks for as long as you own your home. The power jets, the, the motors that run the power jets are a one year warranty because they're electrical items. That's sure. just how most of the things work. The cool thing about Rebath is if you had that situation happen to us, happen to you, and it's after the year, you can still call us. We would get you the part. We'd have to charge you something to install it, but at least you have a resource to get it fixed. Yeah, that's part of a lot of issues. People just don't know who to call to get things fixed. And I've replaced a lot of tub for tubs because the company has gone out of business so they no longer make parts. It, it happens a lot more people think. Now, um, I know we do uh, other jetted tubs where they're hydro massage mm -hmm. and air massage. Do these come that same way? As far, as far as... Can you get a hydro massage or an air massage or is it one or the other with the you one? Get the both. Oh, you, both. Can. you get both. Okay. You get both with no problem. Um, the one thing is, uh, just so you're aware, anytime we have the jets, we have to run electrical, yes. which people don't think about. And because of the nature of how much amps this is drawing, we literally have to go to the electrical box to the actual uh, tub itself. And that's going to require what's called the dedicated line, which means nothing else is on it but this. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want to do all three, so you have the air jet, the water jet, we have to also do what's called the inline water heater because when we take the water out and put it through that jet, yeah. it could get cold and we don't want the water to get cold. We want yeah. it to maintain its temperature. So we need an inline heater. So in that case, we'd actually need to run three lines, not just one or two. Okay. okay. And so you'd have to have room on your electrical box. For right. That. And if you don't, we do have ways of making it so it will work. Um, we can do a sub box. We can talk about doing it. If, you, if you're in a situation where you've got sockets, the old fuse types, we can talk about replacing that out or you can replace it out. You don't have to use our people, but we can definitely help you out. The nice part about using our people is we all coordinate so well together. Uh, one of the things we're famous about is fast. <laughs> we do a quick install. Generally speaking, for a walk-in tub, if everything's right when it gets here and everything goes smoothly, usually two or three days we're done. That's amazing. Now, as far as um, the water, um, is there a certain water heater size that we recommend? Because I know this thing probably takes a ton of water. Yes, and that's something we've been finding out here lately. Um, um, a, a standard hot water heater for a normal home isn't working. We would have to come in and do a few modifications. Depending on your system, that's where we send the plumber up if we find this out. Mm -hmm. The plumber's going to analyze what you have going on and say, all right, we can do this or we can do this. He's got a couple different options, and he's the plumber, licensed, you know, yeah. Master, Master John. The master plumber. <laughs> master John. <laughs> master John. <laughs> so the reason why we bring him out is so we can verify what we can do. There is some code issues that we have to watch, but generally speaking, we like to have about a 75 gallon. And just by the way, the differences between the two is basically a 75 gallon will actually get you more hot water than a 40 gallon well. Sure. And I see that this tub here has two different ways that I can drain it. Is mm -hmm. there a reason why there's also there's this turn feature here where you just turn the knob and then it looks like there's a chain that I can pull. So the chains you wanted to get immediately empty. Okay. okay. Generally speaking, if you're thinking about how much water's in here, because like I said, it'd be filled up to probably, probably about here, well knowing Dana, probably about here. <laughs> okay, so it'd be up high. When you go to drain this water, it's gonna take a while. Yeah. Generally speaking with this, what we do is that rather than using the traditional tub drain, which is an inch and a half drain, we put it to two inches. They test it, it generally, unless we got an issue going on with your drain system, it will drain in two minutes okay. if we have it wide open. Why would you drain it slowly? Well, you have to wait for it to sit there, you have to sit there until it's done. So sometimes draining it slowly, you, you get acclimated to the air around you a little bit easier slowly. 
you, you get acclimated to the air around you a little bit easier. You can enjoy that hot water a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. So there's things like that. It just kind of depends on personal taste. Okay. Great. Well, I think, Gene, you've answered all the questions that I've had here. Now, if you guys have any more questions, please just put them in the comments below, and I'll make sure and pass it along to the guys and get those answered for you. Um, and we will see you in our next product video. I know we'll be having Gene and the other guys back to talk about a lot of the products that we offer here. So until then, see you later. See you later.